Mr. and Mrs. Papala Singham are talking to Minister Cho and I today about the impacts of the carbon tax on their day to day life. They're seniors living in Scarborough, and we know that the carbon tax is going to add $648 to an average family. We have to take care of our seniors. We have to be aware of the impacts of additional government costs like a carbon tax. Federal government's uh, new carbon tax worries a lot of people. And it's very worrisome, especially for seniors, because they live in a fixed income. They say, we understand that the, the tax will keep going up. We like to spend more money for heating, but we don't have that on our extra cold winter days. And uh, we like to buy some more food and to put on the, uh, on the table. But we cannot do that. We are in the latter stages of our life, so we should be happy. <laughs> so this taxing, no. It's we don't want any tax on us. For all we need money, with this we don't get any additional income, only this fixed, fixed pension income. is. We are um, actually pleased uh, with whatever we are getting now. If they put more taxes, it will be very hard for us. The carbon tax by 2022 is going to cost almost $17 million of additional charges for seniors' homes, for retirement facilities, and additional fuel charges. And those are all charges that are going to take away from the care of our seniors. You don't need a carbon tax to fight climate change, and the impacts of a carbon tax are going to hurt real people. Seniors, the one who helped to build this great province, now we're charging them uh, extra burden and extra pressure. It's not fair.